What's up guys, it's Cal, Jailbreak Central, and today I'm going to be doing an in-depth guide on how to use Cydia. I'm going to be going over all the different tabs in Cydia and what you really need to know when you're first starting out jailbreaking. You know, you've just jailbroken your phone, you know what Cydia is, you have a little idea of the tweaks and themes, and I'm going to be going over in-depth what they do and um, basically how to navigate it. So first up, when you open up Cydia, you get to the home screen, which is right here. As you can see, it says, Welcome to Cydia, trademarked by Jay Freeman. Um, otherwise known as Sork. So he's the one who developed Cydia. Awesome guy, basically founded jailbreaking. Um, and so we owe all of this to him. So first off, we're gonna be talking about the featured. If you click on that tab, it'll bring up a bunch of nice, very easy to navigate um, sort of different folders that have the various tweaks and themes that are attributed to them. For example, this one is tools to start with. So obviously if you just downloaded Cydia, these are the basic tools that a lot of people download such as five icon doc. Um, obviously, you know, people love the dock. You want to have your favorite applications there. And if you're like me, you have more than four favorite applications. This is the, this is basically the tweak for you, the five icon dock to install it. You go to the top right hand corner and click install, and then it'll tell you what you're installing and how much space it's going to take up. And then you can hit confirm in the top right hand corner to actually install it. Um, and then it'll run some codes and everything and then tell you to either return to Cydia or respring the phone and you're all good to go with that. Um, now, the second tab here, which is um, sections, and now this basically breaks down all the different types of tweaks, themes, add-ons, um, all that good stuff um, into different categories. You can see here the only ones that you really want to pay attention to are themes and tweaks. Those are the most important. You can see here there's a ton of different types of themes. Um, springboard themes is the one you're going to want to look at probably the most, and then the other one is tweaks. Um, obviously, those are the ones you want. Tweaks edit the actual um, system of your phone. So they can change things like um, adding more options to control center or changing the notification center, something like that. Whereas themes just change the appearance of your device. So as you can see here, this is the icon for a theme. It's the little uh, blue monitor looking thing. And then the icon for the tweak is this uh, it's sort of like a drill, I suppose, with a little black box next to it. And that's basically the different types of icons. So definitely look out for those because those ones you know um, are tweaks and those ones you know are themes. Now the next tab over you have changes and this shows you at the top it'll show you what can be updated if you have any updates and then after that it'll come up with all the new tweaks and themes that have been released for Cydia within the last couple of days. Chronologically you can see that this one is new at January 18th um, which is actually just 10 minutes before I made this video so it updates very very regularly and you can basically see all the new stuff that's coming out for Cydia. Now over here in Manage, we have three different tabs. Um, obviously packages, actually I'll start with storage I suppose. Um, storage, it takes a little while to load, but what it basically is, is it's essentially trying to compile all the different stuff that's taking up room or space in your device. I'm actually gonna fast forward this right here. Okay, so here it is. You can see it took a while to load, actually I fast forward it. But this basically tells you all the stuff that's being used on your phone, what's taking up space, what's not. And more importantly, it tells you um, what themes are taking up space and what tweaks are taking up space. You can tell if your phone's getting a little bit slow, you can tell whether or not it's because of tweaks and themes or whether it's because of something else such as iTunes, camera app, um, you know, all the different apps you install. And it's just a great way to keep, keep uh, basically keeping track all the different things that you're downloading, make sure they're not taking up too much space. So if you want, you can go through and um, obviously remove some of them. The next tab is sources. I made some other videos on it. You can look it up on my channel. It's kind of complicated how to use them, but um, you know, again, just go to my channel. Now, this one is pretty important. This is the packages, and it shows all the, your installed tweaks, themes, um, all that good stuff. Basically, anything you've installed from Cydia will show up in packages, and you can go here to quickly find and remove ones that you um, that you don't want, or if one of them's acting up, then you can um, reinstall it and get it working again. And then the last tab is just a search tab um, right there, but it's pretty much it for that. Um, again, featured. Another good um, tab that you can look at in Cydia is themes, and if you click on themes, this is obviously only themes, and it breaks it down into some nice categories, so you can do it by device. So it'll pick the best themes that work with that device, and then it will um, obviously recommend some for you. Now the next tab you want to look in that's sort of important is manage your account and you definitely want to set this up and what this is is a city account you can link it through amazon facebook and google 
um, Amazon is for the payments. And then once you do that, you can buy things in Cydia um, and also it saves all your purchases. Purchases. So let's say you buy something, get a new device, jailbreak again, and then you want to re-download things you've already purchased. If you log in, it will allow you to do so. Now, real quick, I'm just going to talk about the difference between a paid package, something that you have to pay for, and a free one. So now you can see here, these two, Acer iOS 7 is in a sort of a lighter blue text, and then the one beneath it is in a darker text. You can see the one in light blue actually means that you have to purchase it. So now as you can see, once I tapped on it, it says purchase product for $2.99, and then the top right-hand corner, instead of just saying install, it'll say purchase. So make sure you keep that in mind. Don't go purchasing anything that uh, you think is free. And then obviously anything in black text is free and you can download it, no problem. Um, that's pretty much it. That is the in-depth guide as I could do on Cydia. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day and see you guys later.